shot there from Tate. Girls love money, and that's not entirely true. Yo, Luke. Yeah? Let's get this. People in Romania actually think I'm like a bad person or a scary person. One of my neighbors messaged me about the parking situation on the street, and she said, and I quote, I always tell my children to stay away from your cars, although they really like them. I'd hate for them to scratch one and me have to sell a kidney. Ha ha. <laughs> so I told her that tomorrow she can bring her son around and we'll unlock all the cars and he can take loads of photos in them. Yeah. And like set them, he could show them to the girls in his school and stuff. He's only like five years old. Yeah. And she's super surprised, like, wow, you're so nice. Like, what does it cost me to unlock my cars and let some kids? Zero. Start? Zero. What, ten minutes? Well, people think I'm, people think I'm an asshole. I know. I swear. I swear, I'm much nicer than people realize. So tomorrow, my neighbor is bringing her son over and taking photos in my cars. Just the kind of guy I am. Bro, you're much nicer. You just can't post, you can't post the shit. Yeah, I know. I know. But if he scratches them, shit. <laughs> Two kidneys. <laughs> Two kidneys. Luke, I need a favor. Yeah? Right. A friend of mine, a colleague of mine, has left his car in Bucharest and he doesn't know what to do with it. He's, he's going to be gone for months and months, but his vehicle is still here. So I've decided to become an Uber driver. I'm going to use his car and I'm going to drive Uber in the city. So in 10 minutes when the car arrives, you've got to go and get my new Uber from outside. They're gonna, the tow truck is bringing it, and you're gonna show them where to park it, because I'm busy, and that's gonna be my Uber. I'm gonna be an Uber driver. All right, what car is it? You'll see. It's a perfect car for Uber, for these streets. It's a perfect car. It's on its way. What do you think it is? Like a Toyota Prius? It, probably, it's an Uber car, isn't it? Uber car, bro. Here it comes. Here's St the Uber car. Still can't see it. What is it, Dacia? Prius. Prius, yeah. Actually, Dacia is a good guess. They love a Datsia in Romania. Datsia Logan. This is the Uber car. What's that? That's not a fucking Uber car, <laughs> bruv. <laughs> bro, that's not an Uber car. That's a, that's a fucking Uber car. That's a Rolls Royce car. She's not Ubering in this. <laughs> <laughs> they, might have, they might have just bought another car. But there's no way this is an Uber car. This is fake news. <laughs> Bro, how's the Rolls Royce in Uber car? Imagine your Uber picking you up in the Rolls Royce. You'd be so happy though, wouldn't it? Would you? I guess you would. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You saw me eat three massive steaks the other day. I did. Today I was eating two, and you thought you were the steak champ. I thought I was the steak champ. You think it runs in our blood. We uh, shall see. We I shall think see I can beat this. I don't think you can be. If I eat it fast enough, me and my stomach won't notice. Don't you still owe me money? Where's the money? I might. That's just I might. Give me the money. I'm, gonna, I'm starting to drive. Anyway, I'm starting. I'm going to have to drive Uber. So, bro, you You see that Uber I got this morning? Let me see your Uber car. Need it. Done, basically. I'm now just trying to get the fat chunks off. The fat chunks. Gee, you admit that this Tomah is defeated. Kind of, basically. Basically. You beat it on points, so it wasn't a KO victory. <laughs> Wait, I'm still, I'm still going. Well, I've been finished eating for about 
six and a half hours, and you're still sitting there. So, yeah. Not bad, though. Not bad. Maybe you'll uh, finally grow tall. <laughs> Keep eating. I am. My stomach ain't done yet. It's an English car, and it's right wheel drive. No, the legal owner isn't in the country anymore. I've been left with the car. I'm insured to drive it, but it's an English registered car. So I want to use it in Romania. What do you mean safety rating? You know, the best car I've ever fucking got when I ordered an Uber was like a Dacia Duster. You do realize that, that in this country, everyone laughs at your company. Everyone laughs at the service because all the cars are shit. When I'm in England, I can order Uber Black, I can get the Porsches, I can get the Mercedes. I'm trying to do you a favor. I'm trying to up your game. I've got a Rolls Royce Phantom, and I want to be an Uber driver. And you're asking me all sorts of difficult questions like I'm some sort of weirdo. Do you know what it would be like if you were in Bucharest and your Uber pulled up and it was a Phantom? That'd make your fucking day. Here it's just fucking Nissans and Dacias and pieces of shit. And you won't let me because my car is registered in England. Who would have a Rolls Royce Phantom uninsured? Have you ever driven in Bucharest? If someone hits me, that's $100,000 worth of damage. People here drive like idiots. Of course I'm insured. You know what? What car do you drive? Where do you live? Estonia? Why is Uber in Estonia? Why am I talking to you? You're in Estonia. Can you give me a Romanian? A Romanian will at least say, ah, yes, you're trying to drive a Rolls Royce Phantom as an Uber in Bucharest. Thank you, sir. That's why you're so fucking rude. Well, you know what? Fuck Uber. Fuck Uber, Romania. I'm going to sign up to one of those other companies, or I'm going to become a private chauffeur. And you can stick with your Dacia Logans and your fucking Dacia Dusters and leave Uber in this country to be total shit. I tried to improve it, and you're fucking useless. Fuck Uber. I can't become an Uber driver. Fuck them. Right wheel drive. Uh, the insurance is in my name. Unsafe. You tried. I tried, man. So, Luke. Andrew thinks he's going to have more fun in Paris than we have in Switzerland. He won't. Because we will be in Paris. And he doesn't even know it. Shit. And when he tries to tell us how much fun he had in Paris, we're going to show him that we have also been in Paris. And done more than him. And done more than him. We're going to do... No, It's a competition. Of who can have more fun. In Paris. And we're gonna win. Right, so we're in London, England, failed society. We have to get to Stuttgart, Germany to see Tristan. He's leaving from Bucharest, Romania. We're leaving from London, and he messaged me yesterday saying he's gonna have more fun than us on the journey. Don't know what that means. M5 covered in bird shit. Right, so I don't know what Tristan's fun plan is. Our plan is we're leaving London, we're going to the Eurotunnel, we're gonna stop in Paris. We've got something to do there. We'll spend one night in Paris. We're gonna leave from Paris directly to Stuttgart, Germany, where we're gonna meet Tristan, get the Porsche, which has been upgraded, the 992, had some work done on it. And then we're gonna take the M5 competition, the new one I just bought, a brand new Porsche. We're gonna race straight to Romania, probably gonna stop in Cluj, which is a city on the outside of Romania, the second biggest town, and then on to Bucharest. Our trip is not going to be that fun. Tristan just scared me with this phone call. Our trip's going to be so fun. If I checked the fucking bank and he's just spent shitloads of money, that's all he would have done. He's just going to spunk money on the champagne, I guarantee it. One way over to London. One way, please. Any pets? Zero. LPG gas? Nope. Right, nice one. Uh, I wish you took LBG. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, the holiday price is £175. Jesus. No. It's getting expensive, bro. What happened? No, no, it's crazy, isn't it? All right, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. It's what it is. I'm afraid so, yeah. There's not much alternative choice, is there? I mean, there's no other way besides the ferry. I, take I can day. swim. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so true. I'm a good uh, swimmer. And it leaves, a, it leaves in 30 minutes. It leaves at 20 past. Perfect. So if you uh, yeah. check the amount... I'm on the Euro Tunnel. If you don't know what that is, 
the Americans won't know. That's how you get from England to continental Europe with a car. You take your car, you put it on a train, the train goes under the ocean, it's pretty cool. And as I've left London just now, there was a news report that they've locked down Canary Wharf because of this virus, the coronavirus. The coronavirus is making me shitloads of money. And it's making me money because it's having a huge effect on economies and countries. I was supposed to go to Turkmenistan, Ashgabat. I was supposed to go next week. I got an email saying Turkmenistan has banned all foreigners to the 28th of March. Now, I know most countries can't do that, but Turkmenistan can do that. They can say no foreign people at all because they're like a hermit nation. That's how much this virus is affecting things. Now it's in London, it's in Italy, it's in France, it's everywhere. It's affecting global markets, which means it's affecting currency markets, which means if you're involved in Forex, there's huge fluctuations. Anyone who trades understands that the worst thing that can happen to a trader is if things stay stable. If things are stable, no up, no down, you can't make money. But if things are going up or down, doesn't matter which way they move, as long as there's fluctuation and volatility, you're gonna make some cash. This virus has come along at the exact perfect time for me. Just as I started my Forex program, anyone who's inside is making a lot of money. If you wanna make a lot of money, we'll show you our trading history and you can try the program first. Trial it for 10 days. So next time you see some virus shit on the news and everyone's dying, at least you can be making some fucking money. The plan for today is as follows. First, I'm gonna order loads of Chinese food because I'm traveling soon and the more Chinese food I order, the more immune I am to the Wuhan coronavirus. Logic. Step two, it is my assistant Georgiana's birthday in two days when I'm gone. So I'm gonna buy loads of flowers and cake and make her feel special today because she's like family to me. We could get her some wine. She does like wine. But also, I'm too nice to her as it is. Nice. Hello. Hi, I want the biggest bunch of flowers in the universe. <laughs> oh, Which is the most special? That's the most special. That's the most special. Mm -hmm. uh, these are too much like decorations in the house. I want like a, a big bunch of flowers. Yes, yeah, I know. Flowers. We don't have cut flowers. Just, just these, yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, give me this. Wonderful, thank you. Don't read my message, it's no, terrible. No. Hmm, I feel right. I don't know. Here's a problem. Nice. Nice. I think she'll like it. I think she'll like it too. Is she not going to answer? She's got a personal assistant doesn't answer when you call. This is a shit personal assistant. Yeah. Maybe we should just eat the cake. Eat the cake. Let Apollo destroy the flowers. And drink the champagne. And drink the champagne. That would be a wonderful day. You know what? If she doesn't reply to me quickly, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to eat her cake. She's not going to know. Yo. What? Hey, dumbass. Yeah. Where are you? What do you want? Um, the guy make. Uh, which one? Jollyville. Jollyville? Yeah. All right. Anyway, super urgent. Meet me in my house. Super important. Okay. All right. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. So... We literally missed her by one second buying yep. her flowers and cake. Yep. She's in the same place as us. She is. Oh, well. So we're not drinking her champagne eating her cake. No. 
That said, she's not going to eat all the cake. She won't eat all the cake. But cake does make you weak. I don't even like cake. I don't either. Good point. Fuck the cake. Matthew. What? Why didn't you tell me? What? Come here. What did you do? Come here. Why didn't you tell me? Georgiana, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> that it was your birthday coming up. I'm going to be gone, but I bought you. Flowers that oh, yeah. express my deepest sentiments towards you. Thank you, that's nice. Give me a birthday hug. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Georgia, if you want to fight, I can still yeah. give you a birthday hand. Birthday hug. Birthday hug. Tristan oh. style. So there's a cake fat cell, and there's some champagne drunkie, and here's some flowers. Oh my! Let yeah. me know how stupid you are. <laughs> but, for the record, her birthday's in two days, but I'm yeah. not going to be here. Yeah. I hate flowers. Yeah, we thought food. you wouldn't like it. And chocolate. Fuck <laughs> flowers. I call pussies. For you, Luke. If you want birthday hands, I can give you birthday hands. You want birthday hands? Huh? I want birthday hands. I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> so to confirm, when me and Andrew sit down, and have our competition of who had the most fun journey. The only thing he's gonna have over us is Paris. He's gonna show us all the stuff he did in Paris with Rory. That's why secretly, instead of flying straight to Zurich, we're flying to Paris first for five hours to have more fun than Andrew in that time. So when he says Paris, I'll show him that we had more fun in Paris than him, and he won't even know we've been there. Fuck it. Yep. What is this shit? This is better than Burger King. Where is my Burger King? Burger King's whack. It's closed. You're a liar. It's closed. This place is open for a reason. It's your fault. No. This is Romanian food in Romania. It's better than Burger King. Burger King is whack.